they tend to like forget that i'm also a human and even if you see me as a role model like <laughs> first of all i didn't ask to be a role model okay i think content creators are sometimes held to an impossibly godly standard like i can't tell you the number of times i've had female commenters say something like oh you know i used to really like your content because you were like this this and this but then like you showed me this other side of you and so therefore i'm unfollowing you like okay just leave me in peace like i didn't even know who you were before this like why do you feel the need to let me know that you don't like me anymore um before this you were a nobody and you still are a nobody to me because you left a faceless comment on my profile okay bye anon like i am someone with a very small platform on all platforms okay the parasocial relationships i face is crazy i cannot imagine what celebrities have to go through before i go any further i need to talk about today's sponsor <laughs> Y'all, I'm getting sponsorships. Today's sponsor of this video, but um, back to what I was saying. I sort of get holding celebrities to a higher standard, possibly because I'm not a celebrity, so I don't really know what they go through, but they have, you know, like an entire team managing their public image. I am a small creator, and even I'm subject to these weird parasocial norms. I think it's crazy that like even a small creator such as myself is faced with these sort of crazy standards. And I feel like when commenters who only browse social media and they do not create content, they tend to like forget that I'm also a human. And even if you see me as a role model, <laughs> first of all, I didn't ask to be a role model, okay? Like just 10 minutes ago, I got a comment on Xiaohongshu, which is China's like version of Instagram. And I basically posted a video of me clapping back and it was like humorous. It was a humorous clap back. I thought the troll's comment was funny. And so I wasn't that offended. And that's why I replied. Like normally if I find a comment very offensive, I just block them i just delete and block y'all are thinking that i respond to every single hate comment i just deleted like five hate comments on youtube and these comments were racist they were sexual they were disgusting they were really mean and i did not respond to them but this other comment i got it was kind of funny so i thought i would just troll them back because yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can be a troll as well so yeah i just feel like you know these girls when they say like oh i thought you were a role model i followed you because i thought you were super confident but now that you're clapping back i find your clap back even worse than the trolls like and then that person who said that to me on xiaohongshu she proceeded to like write me you know a bunch of comments and then at the end of the comment she called me a mean girl and i'm just like the troll just called me donald duck the troll just said I sounded like Donald Duck and you're calling me the mean girl? Like how is that even fair? A bully bullies someone and that bully doesn't expect that person to bully them back and somehow bullying them back makes them the mean one now. My point is like you cannot expect someone to be perfect online. Yes, I can be charismatic, funny, confident, but my strength are also my weaknesses what makes me me and what makes me strong <laughs> it's also what makes me weak like as someone who is charismatic and empathetic i feel for people but that also means like when i am faced with meanness again i mostly block but sometimes i can be mean back if i want to i faced this sort of comment so many times and it just makes me wonder like why do they why do these people tell me that oh like i really liked you but then like you know you showed me your ugly side and you're not perfect to me anymore and so therefore i'm gonna unfollow you like i get it like i get like a lot of influencers they do get some mean comments and a lot of them do ignore the, all of them like they don't do any clap back and you know what good for them good for them I'm not one of them. If you are expecting me to be one of those influencers who don't talk about my feelings, just, you know, to just share the superficial side of me, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not your girl. And if you're expecting me to be this person who is confident 100% of the time, um, 
I think you're literally expecting me to be God. I don't think anyone on this earth is 100% confident 100% of the time. Maybe these real, real big influencers, maybe they're successful because they don't show their insecurities online. But that's the beauty of me being a small creator. I can do whatever the fuck I want with my platform. All right, I'm just gonna end this video here.